in our previous lectures you have learned how to multiply a number with a matrix but do you know that two matrices can also be multiplied we'll see how today look here we have been given some data two friends rekha and swati they have bought some fruits apples and oranges so rekha has bought three apples and seven oranges while swati has bought four apples and five oranges and we have also been given that apples cost 5 rupees each and oranges cost 6 rupees each now can you tell me how much have each of them spent individually on these fruits now what you will do you will start multiplying well let's do that in the matrix form first of all let's write this in a matrix form 3 4 7 You've already learned how to write these data in matrix form. Can you tell me what is the order of this matrix? Well, you can see it has two rows and two columns. So this matrix is of the order two by two. Now, even this data can be represented in a matrix form. Well, what is the difference between this and this matrix? Well, first of all, the numbers are different. The data inside it, the entries, the elements are different, and the order is also different. What is the order of this matrix? Tell me. Two rows and one column. So the order of this matrix is two by one. Now, what we have to do is we have to find out the total cost. That is the amount of money spent by rekha and swati individually now what do you need to do is multiply the number of apples to the cost of apples and multiply the number of oranges with the cost of oranges and add them up for rekha this is the these are the numbers for date rekha so this needs to be multiplied like 3 needs to be multiplied by 5 and 7 needs to be multiplied to 6 and then if we add them together we will know how much rekha has spent on fruits similarly you can do that for swati you can multiply this with this how multiply 4 into 5 number of apples with the cost of apples and number of oranges with the cost of oranges and again if you add them up you will get how much swati has spent on fruits well this is actually how we multiply in matrices let us do this and then you will understand better so let us multiply 3 4 7 five so this matrix into this matrix that is 5 and 6 remember what did i tell you first of all always take rows of the first matrix we will start by taking the first row take this first row and multiply with the first column of the second matrix whenever we do multiplication of matrix always remember we will take the first row of the first matrix and the first column of the second matrix so let us do that so first multiply the first element of this matrix with the first element of the second matrix that is 3 into 5 now you can even write 3 into 5 like this or you can also write 3.5 that gives the same meaning just to avoid the confusion of x or into now what did i tell you you have to then multiply this that is the second element of the first row with the second element of the first column of the next matrix so 7 into 6 and this needs to be added to the product of the first element of the first row and the first element of the first column so plus 7 into 6 so did you get how did i do this take this and multiply with this so you do not have to multiply each and every element to each and every element in the next matrix multiply the first element with the first element here and the next element with the next element of the second row that is the first row of the second matrix and add them up like this now similarly what we will do we need to do that with this also multiply 4 with 
and add them up with the product of 5 and 6. And there goes your multiplication. So what did we do? Let us recap. First, we have multiplied this row, that is the first row of the first matrix, to the first column of the second matrix. Then, we have multiplied the second row of the first matrix to the, again the same column of the second matrix. Now, find out the answer. So, 3 into 5, 15, plus 7 into 6, 42. So, 15 plus 42. And for this row, 4 into 5, 20, plus 6 into 5, 30. Now, the final answer will be 57, 50. So, this is what you can say that Rekha spent 57 rupees on fruits while Swati spent 50 rupees on fruits. So, in that way, you could multiply the data as well as you learned how we multiply two matrices. Did you notice one thing? Here, we had the matrix of the order 2 by 2 and this matrix was of the order 2 by 1. And the product has come of the order again 2 by 1. Is there any way that we can know this beforehand that what will be the order of the product when we multiply two matrices? Well, every time two matrices will not have these two order only. There may be matrices like this. Look at these. This matrix is of the order 2 by 2. And this matrix is also of the order 2 by 2. Then, do you think the product that we will get will have the order 2 by 1 as in the previous case? Well, no. There are different orders for different matrices when two matrices are multiplied. Now, how do we do that? How do we know about that? Well, what did I tell you? Whenever we multiply two matrices, consider the first row of the first matrix and the first column of the second matrix. We will always multiply like this. Never multiply the first column with the first row. That will give you a wrong answer. Always multiply the first row with the first column of the second matrix. To start doing this, what we will do? Multiply this first element of the first matrix with the first element of the second matrix. So 3 into 2 plus, you know, we add the product with the product of the second element of the first row of the first matrix with the second element of the first column of the second matrix. So 7 into 1. So now you are getting familiar with this. First row needs to be multiplied with first column. We are not multiplying each and every element. We are multiplying like this. So 3 into 2 plus 7 into 1. Now we will repeat this for all. Now previously what we had done, we had this first row with first column. Then the second row with the first column. In our previous case, we did not have a second column as well. Now, there is a twist here. Now, after finishing this row with this column, we will not move on to the next row. We will complete the multiplication with the first row first. So, first row with first column of the second matrix. Then, again the first row with the second column. You are getting this? First, multiply the elements of the first row with the first column of the second matrix. Then, the first row with the second column. This multiplied by this and this will be placed in the second element here. So the product that you get after multiplying the first row of the first matrix and the second column of the second matrix will be placed as the second element of the first row of the product matrix. So 3, so 3 into 3 plus 7 into So you're getting this? Now, after we have finished with the multiplication of the first row with both the columns, we move on to the second row. And we will repeat the same process with what we did with the first row. So now, take this row and multiply this with the first column of the second matrix. So 4 into 2 plus 5 into 1. So you got this, 
second row, first column. Now what we will do? Second row, second column. So 4 into 3 plus 5 into 2. So we are done with this. Now solving this is not very tough. Let us solve this. 3 into 2, 6 plus 7. 3 into 3, 9 plus 14. 4 into 2, 8 plus 5. And 4 into 3, 12 plus 5 into 2, 10. Now solve this further. 6 plus 7, 13. 8 plus 5, 13 as well. 9 plus 14, 23. And 12 plus 10, 22. So here we are done with multiplying these two matrices. What do you notice about the order of this matrix? This had 2 by 2. This had 2 by 2. And this also has 2 by 2. So you can see that this matrix is of the order 2 by 2. Now again I told you in the previous slide that you I'll tell you the way how to know beforehand what will be the order of the product matrix. Let me tell you now. In our previous lectures, you have learned that two matrices are always not compatible to be added. Only if they have the same order, then they can be added to with each other. But in case of multiplication of matrices, that is not the condition that two matrices need to have the same order to be multiplied. They can be of the different order, but any two matrices cannot be multiplied. Now, how will you know that which two ma matrices can be multiplied or which two cannot be multiplied? Well, let me tell you. Say if a matrix A has the order, say, 2 by 2. So what is the number of rows of matrix A? 2. And the number of columns? 2. And a matrix B has the number of rows as 3 and the number of columns as 4. Well, matrix can be of any order. So the order of matrix B is 3 by 4. So what can you conclude? The number of rows is 3 and the number of columns is 4. Now I want to multiply matrix A with matrix B. Can I do that? Well, how you will say, how will I know that before I see the matrices? Well, you know that an order can be written as m by n, right? So, if 2 here is m and this 2 here is n. Now, if I want to multiply another matrix to this matrix, the number of rows of the second matrix should be equal to the number of columns of the first matrix. Now, what do I mean by this? Here, the number of rows is m is 2, number of columns n is 2 here. Now, in this case, this, that is the number of rows of b, should be equal to the number of columns of a. So, this needs to be n and this can be any number, say, p. Are you getting this? m, here the number of rows is 2 of matrix A, number of columns N is 2 again mat of matrix A. In If we, I want to multiply any matrix to this matrix, the matrix that I have to multiply to this matrix need to have the same number of rows as to the same number of columns of this matrix. So this had to be 2 if I want to multiply matrix B to matrix A. So directly by seeing these two orders, I can say that matrix B cannot be multiplied to matrix A. Clearly, you need to understand that if two matrix need to be multiplied, the number of rows of one matrix should be equal to the number of columns of the other matrix. Or you can say that the number of columns of the first matrix need to be equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. Look at this. This is actually how we defined multiplication of matrices. If a matrix A has the order M by N, it needs to be multiplied to a matrix which has the order 
n by p. So the number of rows of b have to be equal to the number of columns of a if you have to multiply two matrices. Otherwise, multiplication of matrices is not possible. So here, if I have the number of rows of b are equal to the number of columns of a, they are compatible for multiplication. Now, even without multiplying them really, you can know the order of these two when multiplied. Or I, you can say that you can know the order of the product matrix. So here the product matrix would be AB. And what would be the order of that matrix? It would be M by P. How will you get this M by P? The order of the product matrix will be equal to the number of rows of the first matrix and the number of columns of the second matrix. How will you remember this? Well, let me copy this down. Well, you can see that this is equal to this. So forget this. Only if this and this is same, this matrix, that is this multiplication is defined. If n is equal to n here, that is the number of columns of A is equal to the number of rows of B, this multiplication is possible. Now, the next thing is what will be the product, what will be the order of the product matrix? So the product will, the order of the product matrix will be M by that is what I have written here. Well, there is also one mnemonic for this. If you want, you can learn that too. That is, my neighbor never pays my payment. Well, that is a very strange kind of a mnemonic. But still, you can remember it. My neighbor, so M by N, never pays N by P, my payment. So always, the product matrix will have the same number of rows as that of A and same number of columns as that of B. So let us revise now. Look here, I have given you two matrix, two matrices, C A and B, whichever name you want to keep. Tell me whether these two are multiplicable or not. Look, just now we have learned this. Say this is matrix A, this is of the order. 2 by 2. Say this is matrix B. What is the order of this matrix? 1, 2. 1, 2, 3. Now tell me whether this is possible or not. So two things we have to keep in mind. First, whether the multiplication is defined or not. And if it is defined, what will be the order of the product matrix? First of all, tell me is this defined or not? Just by looking at this. Well, what do we need to see? We need to see that this n should be equal to this n here. Number of columns of A should be equal to the number of rows of B. See? It is same. So, we can say that these two are multiplicable. Now, the next step, what will be the order of the product matrix? Look, the product matrix will be m by p. What is m here? M is this, 2, and P, N and N goes here, so this is P. See how simply even without multiplying, we got to know what will be the order of the product matrix. Here again we have been given two matrices. Tell me whether AB is possible or not. If it is possible, what will be the order of product matrix? Tell me this. Well, A is of the order 2 by 2. So, M by N is this, right? Next, we need to write N by P. So, what is the order of this matrix? Matrix B, 1 by 2. First of all, tell me, is AB possible or not? Or is AB defined or not? Look, both the Ns are same. No, both the Ns are not same. So, both these matrices cannot be multiplied. So, if they are not defined, there is no chance of getting the order of the product matrix. The question ends here. See again. 
Well, A is a row matrix, B is a column matrix. You can see that. Tell me whether AB is possible or not. What is M by N here in this case? 1 by 2. What is N by P here in this case? 2 by 1. Tell me, A B possible or not? Well, see, N is same. So, A B is defined. You can actually multiply. Look now, this row needs to be multiplied to this column. Simple as that. So, this is possible. Now, you will tell me what will be the order of the product matrix, which is M by So M here is 1, P here is 1, so, so M by P will be 1 by 1. That is, there will be only one element, that is only one row and one column. There is only one element of the product matrix. Well, one element, let's do one thing, let us multiply this and see. This matrix need to mul needs to be multiplied to this matrix. So what will be the answer? 1 into 3 plus 2 into 4. Well, I have used multiplication sign here. You can use the dot sign also. So 1 into 3 is 3 plus 4 into 2 is 8. So 8 plus 3, 11. See, this has the order 1 by 1. So we were correct in this. Again, A is of the order 3 by 2. B is of the order 2 by 3. Is AB possible or not? You will tell me. So let us write it here. M, N, N, P. Now tell me. What will be AB? Well, we can see that both the ends are same. 2 and 2. So this is possible. What will be the order of the product matrix? M by P. So, 3 by 3 will be the order of the product matrix. So, now I hope you are clear with the multiplication of matrix concept.